Hey guys, what's up? So I want to share a new little secret with you that me and my grandfather, well my grandfather, because he wants credit for absolutely everything, anyways, that he discovered. Um, recently I was making, um, sock monkeys for, uh, my cousin who's getting ready to have a baby, so him and his girlfriend, I was making, uh, their baby a little sock monkey, and... Um, we I've always had this problem, like, none of my stuff lasts, it always falls apart. Like, I have a Jack Skellington over here on my, uh, bookcase, hold on. So, I made this, this is one of, uh, Islicious Designs, um, uh, like, Amagurumi things, um, so it's a Jack Skellington head, I absolutely love it. Um, but it's very you can see that it's kind of starting to fall apart but not really yet um i don't exactly know how long it's been here you can see better from up top i don't exactly know how long it's been since i made it but it's not really falling apart yet which is good but that's the issue that it falls apart and rainbow loom has of course taken notice to this and they made uh, silicone oil. Well, silicone oil is like three, four bucks a bottle, I think. And they come in those little nail, nail glue bottles that girls, we know that they're like six, seven bucks a bottle. You know, so it's like, okay, why would I pay three dollars for that when it's, it's just, no. So anyways, so, um... If you don't know what the concept or the point of the silicone oil is, um, it was made mostly for uh, silicone bands that stick together in the packaging. Hold on, I will show you. Such as, let's see if I can get a clump. I'm trying to get a clump so that way you guys can see. But I think these are pretty much, okay, I know which ones are all clumpy. No. So, I had to get into my little storage container here that you guys were sitting on top of. So, the silicone oil is for rubber bands that, um, the silicone bands that come that are clumpy together like this. So, this is the from the Halloween mix. See? So, basically, what you would do is you would put this in a bag, you know, put your rubber bands in a bag with some of the oil, and then you would just rub them together like this. And they would come unsticked, such as now. Not sticky anymore. Um, and then those bands would also be coated with oil and they would last. Um, so, and so when you make your stuff, often people would just go ahead and paint their, you know, paint it onto their stuff. Or you can, you know, of course, put your creation in a bag with the oil and just rub it around. Um, again, it's a little pricey for me. Um, and so I asked, I posted on Rainbow Room's Facebook page one day, you know, is there a cheaper way that is not the silicone oil that won't be so expensive? And so they directed me to a video of a guy who makes, um, Amagurumi or Lumagurumi, I don't even know what you would call it, but he makes um, Pokemon uh, figurines out of the rubber bands. And in the video, he demonstrates on a Mewtwo and a Lugia um, how he uses varnish and sealer. Now, these are for like if you do like um, uh, wood crafting and stuff like that. Um, and so he does explain that they are non-toxic, of course. The varnish comes off with water, and the sealer doesn't come off at all, but it does need to be reapplied once in a while. Um, so, of course, when I heard varnish and sealer, I thought, okay, you know, maybe they'll have it at Home Depot. The next time I went to Home Depot after that, um, I, you know, I was looking, and I gave uh, the guy a bit of a challenge. I said... Okay, I make rubber band sculptures and I made a sock monkey for uh, my cousin. 
um, for his son, and I need a varnish or a sealer to make it last, but it needs to be non-toxic. And he goes, okay, let me look in the computer and see what we have. So he directs me to kind of like a flex seal type thing, like you know that rubberized coater that you know, everybody uses now to coat everything, to seal everything up? Um, it was non-toxic and stuff like that, and so I show my grandpa and he goes, this is for if you like have a leak on your roof or something. Like, okay, so we put it back, and we're, s and I'm still trying to think of ways to get my stuff to last, and then I did some research, and it said that putting rubber bands in the fridge would make them seize up and last longer. So that is where the monkey for my cousin is right now. The monkey that I made for the little girl, um, my grandpa, he had sprayed some, believe it or not, WD-40 on some things that I made him in the past. And um, he said that they, you know, hadn't cracked, nothing. He hasn't seen anything like that. So, and it's been about three weeks today since he sprayed them. Um, now what WD-40 is, is it's just um, really fish oil. Um, so even like the fish oil, I think, I guess cap tablets would work too. Um, I don't know exactly what it is in there. Maybe it's, I don't know, the Omega, I don't know. I don't know what it is in there that makes it last. I don't even know what Rainbow Loom, you know, what oil uses their silicone oil and I don't even know what's in it um but yeah it, they've lasted pretty long so that's what we put on the monkey that I give to the little girl um so yeah so there you guys go there's um something new for you guys um WD-40 rather than spending money on sealer or varnish or the silicone oil WD-40 I think is maybe a dollar at the most at like Lowe's or Home Depot even, or even maybe even cheaper. I don't even know. Ugh. Whew, I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Um. So yeah, I'm going to go now. Uh, yeah. So make sure you guys um, go and check out my Facebook page. I also even have an Instagram, but I never, har I hardly ever post anything about um, about uh, Rainbow Loom there. I don't know why. Um. So yeah, so go follow me, um, again, Facebook, um, I'll put that in the description, I promise I will this time. I know I'm horrible about putting links, but I promise I will. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, make sure you share this with your friends, and if you want, pass it along to Rainbow Loom themselves. I know I personally will. <laughs> um, Luna. It's Uno. Calm down. Jesus. <laughs> she is asleep and then she heard Uno walking at them. She's just like, what? Where is he? Anyways, so, um, would you like to say hello to the internet? You lazy dog? Hey. She's too lazy right now. Um, see so you guys, so I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.